Yo, what up YouTube? My name is Marcus and today we're gonna go over 10 tips and tricks for Myth of Empires. If you enjoy this content and you want to see more of it in the future because I am going to make more content about Myth of Empires because the game is just fucking great in my opinion, then you better hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it man, it's just a couple of seconds hit that like button because it helps with the algorithm and please leave a comment because I want to know what you think about my videos because I'm insecure and shit like that. Nah, I'm just joking. Let's get into the video. Let's go. Tip number one, leveling up your weapons. Use the lowest tier of a weapon to your choice and keep hitting things with it. So for example, take the lowest tier weapon, go to your brother and smack him in the neck with it. <laughs> nah, I'm joking man. But for example, if you want to play with a pole armor, you want to level it up as quick as possible. You craft a coarse pole arm, which is the lowest tier of that weapon, and you start hitting things with it. Simple, right? Tip number two, leveling up as a new player. A fast way to level up when you just load into the game is gathering grass. Be a gardener, man. Just walk up to bushes, stand in front of them, and you will see a notification pop up that says collect with E on your keyboard. You can do this anywhere, but the best place to do that is just to spawn in the forest. Because obviously it's a forest and yeah, it, it has bushes, you know? Tip number three, crafting. When I first started, I kind of struggled with the crafting. So let me quickly show you how to do it. And once you've done it a couple of times, it becomes evident. But maybe I'm just dumb and, you know, it's, it's whatever. So what you want to do is press I to go to your inventory. You go to the crafting recipe section and here you see a bunch of recipes that you can unlock. You will start out by unlocking tool introduction which will introduce you to the basic tools. Now if you hover over the icons you can see exactly what you will unlock. In this recipe you will unlock straw rope which you will need a lot of which will go hand in hand with the previous tip because you need grass for it. Now that you've unlocked the recipe you can go back to your inventory and above your inventory you will see the crafting queue and that's where you do all your crafting. Tip number four unlock tools as quick as possible you do not want to be gathering your materials by pressing e throughout the whole game i swear to god you do not want to do that as soon as you unlock the first recipe and you're able to craft a stone axe and a stone hammer do it because you will gather your resources quicker and it'll save you a lot of time and pain tip number five the weight system i know this seems pretty obvious and actually it is but just keep in mind that the game has a weight system so if you're wondering why you're running slower, it's probably because you have a lot of items in your inventory. I was actually complaining about that in my last video, which you will see in the corner right now. And while I was playing yesterday, I kind of realized that I was overweight. So I guess I really am dumb. <laughs> but anyways, if you want to see how much weight you're carrying, press I to go to your inventory and you will see it on the right. So if your objective for example is to carry branches and bark, leave most of your stuff at your house inside a wooden chest or a cabinet so you have more space and weight to carry whatever your objective is. And if you want to know how much something weighs, hover over the item and you will see its weight. Tip number 6, frame rate limit. This took me a minute to figure out but I'm really glad I found this option. By default the game is capped at 60 FPS and it really didn't bother me until I found and changed this option. So. Press escape, go to settings, and in the graphic section, scroll down to dynamic resolution. If you look at the last option, it says frame rate limit and zero means no limit, and it's probably capped to 60 FPS. Just type in zero, press confirm, please do not forget to press confirm. And you should see a huge difference in FPS, unless you have a shitty PC, which really is unfortunate, but you have other tips and tricks for that, I think, I guess. Tip number seven, talent and skill points. As you level up, you will get talent and skill points. I have caught myself multiple times where I was just enjoying the time in Myth of Vampires, and when I leveled up, I would just continue doing my thing without spending the points. These points are actually really good. As you can see here, they give pretty good perks that you don't want to miss out on. For example, increase the output of branches and bark by 20%. Imagine how much quicker you will gather those materials, man. And that's just one example, that goes for swords, shields and everything in this section. So keep an eye out for those points and spend them. Just a quick bonus tip, in this tip, you're able to respec and it'll cost you copper coins though. Tip number 8, tame a horse. This is actually gonna be a longer tip, but it's worth it. 
When you reach level 14, you can unlock the recipe Tamed Horse and Basic Saddle. Let me explain what you want to do to tame a horse. First, you craft a coarse rein and a coarse dry fodder, whatever the fuck that may be. Once you're done crafting, put them both in your hotbar, so for example on 1 or 2 or whatever you got available for you. After that, take out your coarse dry fodder and throw it in front of the horse. Make sure it's facing away from you. Walk up slowly behind the horse with your coarse rein equipped. And when you reach the horse's back, you get an option to mount up with E on your keyboard. Now you're on the horse. What's important to know is the rage bar. Because the horse will actually go berserk and you enter some kind of mini game, I guess, where you just spam your left or right, right mouse button to prevent yourself from falling, which can happen no matter how hard you press the mouse buttons. If that happens, just let the horse cool down and continue taming once it stops raging. And there you go, you tamed yourself a horse. Another bonus tip inside this tip. If you don't have a saddle with you to put it on the horse, look at the horse, press E on your keyboard and select the follow option. And obviously the horse will follow you. Tip number 9, PvP servers. Even though it's quite intimidating, knowing that you can get killed by another player, it does have some benefits. If you do not enjoy PvP, then there is no reason for you to go to a PvP server which you can do once you reach level 16. But if you're like me and you like being competitive, then this is definitely something you want to do since you get two times resources on PvP servers. That sounds fucking good, doesn't it? Tip number 10, switching servers. If you want to switch servers for whatever reason, which most likely is going to be because you hit level 16 and you want to PvP, you have to go to the neutral camp, which I will show you right now. And once you've arrived, you walk up to this guy called Carter. Next to him, you see a horse where you can deposit all your stuff into the cross server teleport inventory. Then you want to talk to Carter, select the server you would like to change to and you're done. You have changed your servers. Congratulations. Now, if you made it this far into the video, consider yourself lucky because I got a bonus tip for you. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you thought about the video, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Let's get to the bonus tip. Tip number bonus. Set markers on the map. Let's say for example you've ran into something really valuable and you want to farm it. You can set a marker on the map and you can go back to it every time without having to memorize it because if your memory is as bad as mine is you might as well have no memory at all. You can set markers on the map by pressing M to go to the map, press your right mouse button and the mark notification will pop up. For the people who like to be organized, you can select an icon, give it a name, and you're ready to mark. And that was it for this video. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.